This lesson is for learning the names of the numbers, counting by tens, 20 through 90, or 10 through 90, in association with the actual real quantities. So for this lesson, the three period lesson is used. And to start with, you'll need six of these golden beads, or if you don't have golden beads, you can use base, the yellow base 10 material. Just make sure that they're all the same color. So for the first period of the lesson, you'll place out one ten, and most likely children will know what this is. So you can ask, how much is this? Yes, that's 10. How much is this? Yes, that's two tens. Two tens are called 20. This is 20. How much is this? Yes, that is three tens. Three tens make 30. 30. Okay, so that's the first period where um, the quantities are named. In the second period, the three groups are put out in mixed order. So I can put down 20, and then maybe 10, and then maybe 30. And in the second period of the lesson, the teacher gives the terminology or the vocabulary and it asks the children to identify the matching quantity. Can you show me 10? Yes, that's 10. Can you show me 30? Yep, that's 30. Where's 20? Yes, that's 20. Where's 30? Mm -hmm, that's 30. And you can continue on. Now, in the third period of the lesson, the teacher asks the children to um, use the vocabulary or the terminology, and the teacher points to the quantity. What's this? Yes, that's 20. What's this? Yes, that's 30. What's this? Yes, that's 10. So that's the three period lesson. And at the, you can end it with a review. So today we learned 10, 20, and 30. Now on another day, you can start with reviewing these quantities and then you can add onto that. And you can do that. As you do that, you can lay them out in a vertical layout, if you like. And you don't want to, to point this out explicitly, but um, when you lay out the golden beads, if you lay them out side by side, they'll start to form a rectangular shape. And it gives um, a connection, a subconscious connection to geometry and the geometrical shapes um, connected with um, skip counting. And eventually down the line, it will connect to multiplication. So this would be 10 times one, 10 times two, and an array of 10 times three. But of course, in this lesson, we're just focusing on, on learning the names of the tens in association with the quantities. And that is the lesson.